Can you let me up to the floor? Yeah, we just come up here and take a left on 13th and go a couple blocks. Wild out here. They got a big screen. Hopefully I rented a car in the middle of a fucking parade and I can't get to Oh my god, that's what it's starting to look like. Traffic right now in Denver. <laughs> that lady waved. I hope we get it in the footage. Hi. Oh, got a happy crowd. Knee, knee pads on. <laughs> Put out the license plate. Dude smoked weed in this car. I know. I don't know, this car just looks like Oh, no, there's weed right there, yeah. Oh, right there's a little nug. Little nug. Dudes are in here, and tobacco. Dudes are rolling spliffs. We got some Europeans in here. We've got evidence. All right, in the Mercedes, Teddy's driving. Yeah, Feels so weird. the seat is not going back. No, this is part of it. Part of the European feel, that knee right to the fucking dashboard. There's a little click thing here, but when I hit it, nothing happens. Yours doing anything? No. Okay, so that means that's not, and then they're not doing something. The AC, those are heated seats. Oh, it's up there. Oh! Oh yeah, dog. We out here. We out here in the motherfucking Mercedes, son. Yeah, what you know? About to go around the block. Teddy has to make a U-turn. I ain't helping him. <laughs> Y'all didn't even think there was gonna be a vlog today. Well, there's not. You're probably gonna see this two days later. Probably not gonna see it till Saturday. Probably ain't gonna see this till Saturday. Teddy's on the low. Teddy's taking a break. Teddy's taking a break from life. Where's Can't stop right? arguing on Twitter though. Yeah. Can't fully take a break. Uh, Do they gotta clear us for takeoff or something? Nah, you, yeah, you are now clear to drive. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for using the car to go. <laughs> yeah. A little camera just drops in. We are watching you. <laughs> Left that weed there as a track. Get an extra 10 miles. Connect this shit, dog. What's up? Is this like a touch screen or not? This is kind of a whack little. It looks like someone fucking slapped an iPad on here. We're right here searching for Christopher's iPhone. Like, we don't want Christopher's iPhone. This, this whole thing's a scam. We don't want Christopher's iPhone. Oh shit! Figured it out. Should be. Like the, is the thing touch screen or not? Like that's the part I don't. What the fuck? Oh, sorry. <laughs> I turned it off. God damn. Mercedes Benz bullshit. Well, yeah. Well, deauthor Christopher is the first to fucking go. You're gone. So deauthorized. Yes. Fuck out of here. How do I get rid of the plug? Yeah, and the plugs fold out of here. Gonna rent it tomorrow. But motherfucker, play a hating motherfuckers out here, dog. What up, homie? I think you just hit a song we out. Two days kicks. Hit it. We just need two days kicks. Track, I, I can't show you the unreleased track. Yeah, right. Spending over, it's called. <laughs> spending over. Like bending over, but I'm spending over. Chill, bro. <sighs> <sighs> Alright, okay. <laughs> Cue that Mercedes music. Got a bad bitch and she blowing sticky. You turn number one coming up. No, 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 no. This is where you're facing me wrong direction. Oh, clap. I don't drive because motherfuckers need to be kept safe. <laughs> Only one U turn. There was no U turn. The car was facing the wrong way. But... Parallel parking test. See how my man does here with the pretty good, looking good. He's got that Mercedes that looks a little helpful too. I didn't even see that. We lost. we lost everything up into that? Everything? Yeah, this starts off in the house yesterday. So do you have us talking on the deck about um, the, the I Indiegogo? I should, yeah. Yeah, I should. It should be right here. Just let it finish this. Yeah, we should be able to find it. Hopefully. We'll find out. We'll see. So far, I've deleted it. Fuck. Yeah. You have to explain why we're refilming this on a Saturday. Because you lost the footage. Who lost it? You. Was it me? Yes. It was me. It was you. Shadily buying all the pairs and dumping the prices like down to nothing to buy all the pairs. Stock it. And they're collecting all the shoes and then they're going to inflate the prices and drop them. That's literally the this conspiracy, is the conspiracy that theory. these fucking dipshits have on the internet this week. Yeah. How many times can we have this conversation? There are, is no fucking certainty in being a middleman. There's no certainty in being a fucking creator. Just in general, that culture, I feel like people got the market. 
I don't know if it's more accessible. There's literally more product. So it doesn't matter if fucking Timmy to Two Tones fucking decides he wants to buy the shit and flip. By the time he gets it and fucking it's time to flip it, the fucking price has already dropped. It doesn't yeah. matter. That's what I'm saying. It's not even that they're that accessible. You at this point don't even have to wake up for a drop. You totally miss a drop. Chances are, if you're okay with getting it just a week or two after the drop, you can get it for fucking close to re- You don't need the bullshit anymore. It's fucking retarded. And the reason people were saying Boost is dead, people went from making thousands of dollars on Yeezys and NMDs to nothing. For the last six months, has uh, hoped and wished that Jordans were gonna fucking resell for a lot, and they're not. The only thing reselling right now for a lot is an off-white Converse that looks like a fucking jelly shoe. And it's fucking not gonna stay that. One restock and it's a wrap. It is what it is, dog. Listen, you hear that? It's the economy. We live in Gothic, bro. I tweeted the five stages of loss since everybody's upset about resale. This earth tone fit, though. Looks good. Tell me. I'll tell me I look good. There's all sorts of stuff. Didn't we take Omar to the vet? I mean, when's the last vlog we fucking we posted? We didn't take Omar to the vet. Who the fuck knows? What? The last vlog we posted was on Monday, first off. <laughs> <laughs> it hasn't been that long. I just took a five day little like hiatus. And it would have only been four if I hadn't have lost it. But I don't remember what we did on Tuesday before we did the sneaker collection. I know we ran around because we came back here and I was like, we need to hurry up and do this. We went to the mall. Oh, no, that was the ball vlog, stupid. Huh. <laughs> you don't even know. You don't watch the vlog. I live the fucking vlog. How can you? I can't. You don't I, live the edit. You live your regular life. You don't see how I edit footage that we have was from the I'm mall. gonna say you haven't posted a vlog in so long. It's been that here's like a little that, laughing. That I can't that I can't remember. Whatever. Oh well. It's lost. The days are lost. You guys, if you guys wanna know what we did, so do we. We have no idea. Yeah, today was supposed to be a frisbee competition, but we got rain out. Mm. Sorry that your frisbee competition got rained down today. You guys just can't go out there with that little dew, huh? It's not actually raining. Though. No, it's but thunderstorms. Thunder because it's a two-day thing. They set up like a whole camp. You guys camp out there? I'm not. You have to. No. You shouldn't be able to leave. It should be like an enclosed world. Like, like what is this shit called? LARPing. Live action role play. You should start a LARPing frisbee you don't use swords you use frisbees you get tagged with a motherfucking flying disc you're out <laughs> we'll build castles and shit like cannon shoot fucking frisbees dog it's lit we'll just we'll just open our own compound and we'll have people come in it should be the same way with paintball no one's leaving we call larp live action role play it'll be called larp larp wolf because it's live action role play with frisbees larp wolf larp wolf <laughs> hey dogs larp wolf ad Larp from Fred. Larp from Fred sounds like a street fighter character throwing a fireball. Larp from Fred. You know what it? Collection. Collection bid. Oh, we gotta move the tape. Part. Oh shit. Hi. Welcome. Get a talent. Get a skill. Get a personality. Get some charisma. Tell a few jokes. Crack a few eggs. Omar, you need to go. Why on the fuck out? It's really not that close. Well, close. Yeah, yeah, you don't think so? Yeah, but then it. And so Maybe still, you should fucking stand behind the camera so, to adjust it, and so you can see what you're adjusting for. The fuck is in there? Uh, really weird, but they're part of the collection at this point. That'll be the last one to show. Okay. Right. It's just because it's solar yellow, or right? that's washed out. That light's too bright. Just turn it down. Oh, it has a. Let's get the water bottle under the table. Now we're talking. I'm in on this one. <laughs> Alright, we're ready to roll. Well, this looks great. Are you sure? <laughs> it doesn't look yellow. It doesn't look orange. Aren't you glad it's not yellow? Boy, you better fucking get this right before I start. I'm look at this. I can't see from here. It looks orange to me from here. Oh, no, no, no. Orange is not the right color. Zoom out a little bit. You are fucking killing me. I don't know why you would say that. Is this the whole... If I'm wrong, here. I do. Wait. They're a little bright. We're going live. Go live. Fuck it. We'll do it live. All right, collection video. Take three.
Hi, welcome. This is my Adidas collection. All boost all the time. Omar. Is that the idea? I don't know. It could be. I thought you were the pro. Or that could I, thought just... you were the, like, I thought you were a uh, creative director. All right, so all what these we're titles. Do... All right. I would like to say that I think collection videos are silly. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm now, gonna... here comes. Now, this. here comes. Here comes hundreds and hundreds of shoes. Okay. So here, first. We have the Climacool in black. But as we discussed earlier, Dirty Urn, I need the Climacool in white instead of this fucking gosha right here. Because this doesn't make any sense. That's not <laughs> That's it. That's not it. That's here you go. Okay. Jesus <laughs> fucking Christ. Where are they? Yeah, we should probably set up the dab rig on the table. <laughs> Hold on. This is great. Here we have the newest offering. And the Ultra Boost family, which I have dyed the top of mine red here. I do believe that was probably from a Gosha pant. You saw the new colorways? There's yeah. the solar, there's the black and red. Yeah. Red stitching on the inside, so we have the white pair. And we have the black pair as well. People didn't like the fact that that white was in there, but now it makes sense because they're just going to put underlay colors in all the pairs. I mean, it's dope. People so, can go fuck themselves. You don't have any. Yes, I do. Oh, did you? You got them for me. Oh, yeah, that's right. The black climacools. Okay. Climacools. Yeah. Black they're white. one of my favorites. That's what I have now. All right. Next. Up next. So here we have the Ama Manier Invincible collab. On this side, my left, your right, you have the Ultra Boost that is made of cashmere wool and is super duper fire. No point oh. It's fucking reverse point oh. They yeah. reversed the whole shit on you. Made it look like a bootleg. Brought you over to the NMD. Did the same thing. Cashmere wool, high class all the way. For those of you buying designer because you can't cop retail, this would have been a good cop. Cause yeah. it's fancy. Yeah. It's a little overpriced, but still super fire. When I had the shoe sale, I sold a dead stock pair for less than retail because I forgot that they were fucking over retail. This is gonna take so long. Yeah. Here, just take a look at your frame and I just want you to see how we're living here. Look at that. How we living? Like it's Chinese motherfucking New Year. That's how yeah. we're living. So here we have the entire lineage of the Chinese New Year. Can I move these? That yeah, it so looks cool. great. Oh, Chinese New Year 1.0, which is probably fan favorite. These bad Larrys are bad. They got that open toe, open toe craziness. Uh, these are re-releasing in the 1.0 retro, if you will, re-release, but they won't have the Chinese New Year tab. Uh, the other shoe that's releasing is the white version, I think. I'm pretty sure. Cream. And then I heard a rumor that the OG also, but... I don't know. I heard it's also going to be consortium only, but I don't really know for sure. And then there's a 3.0, which came in a special box. Bow, 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 bow. This was pretty much at the, I don't know, I'd say this is at the peak of the height of the yeah, height of Ultra Boost, maybe? Maybe when it was starting to fucking come down a little bit. And then this is the 4.0, which a lot of people don't like. Yeah, and when you put them all together, it's probably my least favorite out of them. It's got some cool stuff, but it's not as cool. You just go down the list, like, so grab that Rain Champ on the top. Put those that you have in your hand, just replace it. Uh, Raining Champ Ultra Boost. This would be more of the 1.0 Steez. But this is Raining Champ material, is what they call it. Some people got really mad, because, well, I guess it's 1.0 because it's mesh in the back. Some people got really mad when these came out because they said it wasn't prime knit, that it was its own custom sort of knit. But uh, yeah, 1.0, and then there was also, was the other one a 3.0? Yeah, there's a 3.0, but I sold that one because I just don't wear it that often. It was gray. This was the first parlay, right? Yeah, this was the first one. Earn. Yeah. I'm asking you a question. Oh, you're asking me. Yes, I'm, I'm asking you to confirm. Do you remember? Yes, yeah. right? This is the first one. This was a different one. Okay. Never mind this. This is like the third one then. Yep. And yeah, they and they did the light one. one. Yes, yeah, so there's a few. So the only one I have left, these are the only ones I have left. Is this Uncasion, which is more blue than white. The new 4.0 Parlay, which is my favorite by far of all of them that are released. And then the Parlay City Sock as well. But also they're starting to use Parlay in clothing. Parlay yarn in clothing. Right? There's a new piece of, I can't remember what dropped, but it had Parlay stitching in it. All right, Parlays are done. Parlay the fuck out of here. Hey, parlay vous, motherfucker. Parlay hey, vous, français. Hey, 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 you'll throw the merchandise. All right. Key City NMD, which is the very first NMD that we ever got. Mine are thrashed. 
Key City 3M bricks, 3M stripes, 3M heel tab. You always just tell me the OG was the first. This is the first. This is absolutely the first. Like, no doubt. It's the first glitch. Because, yeah, because then came the other ones, like the yellow pair. So, yeah, these kind of released at the same time. Both glitches. I'm pretty sure. This, I believe, was a Tokyo shoe, though, or they were calling it that. I can't fucking remember, man. There's so many damn shoes now. OGs, Key City. Forgot the flipped OG. The white. Push of T's, what I have left. The white pair that's friends and family I don't have. The brown paper bags, which are the most fire. This shoe's so fucking sick. This shit went on sale, like crazy sale. I and then the silver pair, gray pair, which was the first one. Uh, but these are dope. This like took all the elements of his first shoe that was a EQT and put it in a boo shoe. But a lot of people don't like this shoe and think it fits weird. I'm taking a dab. Oh, uh, we, for <coughs> we forgot the very elusive. <coughs> Chinese New Year Uncaged, they came out with the 3.0, but it never came out in the United States. These are a sample. Possibly the most, it has a fitting name. It's the first Uncaged Ultra Boost. This is what people wanted Uncaged to be. This is what I wanted Uncaged to be. I wish they would drop more of these. But this is the Hype Beast Uncaged, which is probably the most overly hyped Ultra Boost release. One of top contender because it's really not that amazing. Yeah, it's nice, but most people, other than the white heel cup, most people can uncage a different shoe and get kind of the same look. It is the first Ultra Boost with a uh, RFID chip. AI NMD. Speaking of AI, we have a drop tomorrow, Sunday, 10 a.m. Mountain Time. Oh, it's Teddy.com. AI restock with new colors yeah. and hoodies. Um, but this is the AI pack. This shit pissed me off when it dropped because they named it AI. I thought it was a truth be told, full disclosure, this was right after the whole Boost God debacle. And then I was like advertising AI and then they announced this. And I thought it was going to turn into another shit show. And I got really fucking pissed off. And I sent some messages to people that worked for Adidas that don't work there anymore now. So I can tell the story really matter. And I think that's what basically got me off of the seated list for the most part. Yeah, because I was like on some fucking rah-rah shit like, if these motherfuckers are trying to come after me now after they, I know they're biting me, I know someone bit me, and then dude was like, I don't know what you're talking about. And I was like, I don't give a fuck, I'm just telling you straight up, man to man, I'm fucking pissed. Uh, nothing happened from it, but the black and gray pair, the red apple 2.0s, the bad apples, you know what I'm saying? bad apples. That's what that fucking ding dong Pino fucking tried to say that custom one. Yeah, when Ultra Bruce was all hype, he shared a picture of a custom shoe that was done goldish heel cup that had a red tint to it and it was all blacked out and they called it the bad apples and we're trying to say it was a rumored Halloween release. Like, no, it's not. It's a custom. Here's who did the shoe, like adding them and the dude got all mad and blocked me and is still mad at me and was, I, he still doesn't like me, but it's really like, dude, you were just wrong. Yeah. You don't got to be mad at me because you were wrong. Yeah. Just take your L. Fucking grow up. Oh, green pair. And then here it would be the brown, orange, tan pair. I say brown, but other people have argued with me. Nice. Favorite pair from the pack? Brown. Nice. Get these the fuck out of here. <laughs> Remove them! This is amazing. You like this? Yeah. We should do this every day. Just a shoe collection every day? Yeah. No, thank you. I don't have the brown pair anymore. I don't know what happened. I think we sold too many by accident. I took an L on myself. I handed myself a fucking L. I don't even have them. I wonder how much they are on stock eggs. <laughs> yeah. Putting some low ball offers. So, yeah, there's a tan pair that came with this Kith CS2. I had two or three pairs of the tan pair, but I think I accidentally sold my, my real pair. I would like to add the tan pair has what looks to be the same knit as the Pharrell Gold, and people aren't freaking out over the tan pair. Just want to note that. Granted, I know it doesn't have any gold on it. Well, it does have some gold on it, but just saying. This is the OG EQT. They went off with EQTs. They made a shitload of them, but they're pretty much my favorites. The OG one I like. Uh, the white pair, which I've barely worn, and then the triple black pair. All right, talk about your ways. Yo, chill. <laughs> Released last night, the black version of this shoe. The, your face. You didn't know that? No. Yeah, the black version released last night. This black is Boost? No. Oh. Version. This is a shoe that a lot of people would really fucking hate. I, I love it. I love it too. I think they're dope. Uh, the Commanda. 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 These were a gift. They don't have boost. Anything in here that does not have boost, a gift, I think. Yeah. But these are the regular. What are you doing? Sorry. I. I. 
I really, I never saw the stripes on the front before. <laughs> she just walked into the middle of the fucking... This was supposed to be, I think, the C&P Company collab. And there was like a jacket that has like a mask and shit that was supposed to come out. I don't know if it... I've seen people wearing it, Matt Wellesley, but I haven't seen the jacket for sale anywhere. But these were supposed to be part of that, I think. Nice. But they just released. They're kind of cool looking for sun. They are cool. There's also a, um, the... Dragon Ball Z one for this is crazy looking because this shit is black and the upper is all pink. I don't remember which dude it's for. Charmander. I don't know. That's the wrong, that's the wrong shit. Um, Alright, so 3M Ultra Boost first. 1.0. 3M Ultra Boost. Super Fire Pair. 2.0, which in black. I had the white. I sold it, which I just told her, which made me very sad. But here is the black 2.0. What I would say is the newest 3M is the fifth anniversary, which is the 4.0. Boom, boom. It's and really this, peppered. You can't see it like the this others. This 3M, this is like the constellation. Yeah. You know, this shit is fucking bright when it gets hit with light. Yeah. So these three Ultra, these are 3.0. These are like definitely GR Ultra Boost. Probably all three of these went on sale. But I just like the tones of these colors. This vapor gray Ultra Boost kind of reminded me of colors that the Yeezys were moving into. Yeah. Like those earth tones. I really like this. It kind of reminds me of a dark cream. This khaki pair I think super sick. And then the red wine pair. Because I mean it's like burgundy. Yeah, so I we love didn't... that. Yeah, I really like this pair. People, this is where people just kind of stopped giving. It's like once well, they gave too many colors. Yeah, well colors. it's like dude, ash purples were out and they were huge. This is, you know, it's a but little different color. Ash Purple went on sale. Yeah, when they dropped, all that shit went to the employee store. Like, I know I know chicks that got the Ash Purples for like 40 bucks. It didn't fucking pop off until afterwards. It's all good. It's just, I'm just, I'm just noting that that's when it happened. I don't care either way. So, Players Editions. These are the first two Players Editions. So, Miami Hurricanes, which, if you haven't heard this story, just go watch the other collection video. The guy and guy who sold me these, who's still watching the vlog, I know. I'm sorry. These are still mine. Sorry. Sorry I had to take your shoes from you. But you sold them. 500 bucks. These also, homies probably watching, <laughs> sold these to me for 500 bucks as well before anybody cared. But these are the Arizonas 1.0. These are most people's grails because they don't do these currently. Um, and then they moved into 2.0 player editions, which there's like five or six, but they're all basically like this. Oh, there's some other ones. The Miami yeah. 2.0, which they went from that to that. And then this was... So is there another one with a gold heel copper? Who the fuck is this? Is it AS? I can't remember right now. I don't know either. They have an elephant. But isn't there another one too with a gold? Can we focus on what's in front of us? Yeah, yeah, okay. but I didn't know if I need to find that. I don't own it. I'm sitting oh. here trying to tell you oh. that I only own this one. Because oh. they're all basically the same in that one. There is. There's a Bruins one that you're talking about. Yeah. And there's also a Cardinals one you're talking about. But I want to know the name of the one in fucking front of me because I don't remember. Uh, I feel like I had an elephant. You're a sports guy. What are you doing? I'm not that much Yes, you are. Guy. What a look at you. Oh. You go to Martha's Vineyard. You drive a Volkswagen. Before that, you drove a Saab. You like fucking the old homestead. No, hold on. And you for, your first name? Alabama? Date, Alabama. Texas A&M. You can stop looking. Texas A&M Ultra Boost. But there are other ones. I didn't get them because they all... This is where they went from this to that, which is a drastic change. And people weren't feeling it as much. Rightfully yeah. so. But players editions will be changing. I heard a bird okay. told me some words. Bob. Said something absurd about players. Editions. Editions. BYW, what you wanna do with the BYW? Need the other one with the purple fucking tongue. Actually, the tongue's not even purple. Alright, so BYW level ones. This is the first level one. I just ordered the white pair on sale with a discount. Got them white pairs for fucking nothing, basically. Like 40 bucks. Nice. It's fucking sick, dude. The shoe game is sick right now. It's like a fucking feast for anybody that has style and a fucking like brain and identity and is not worried about fitting in. It's ill. Hopefully we get a lot of people like rep you know doing their own thing. Uh, get battery. Alright, you get yourself a battery. I'll, I'll stay in here politicking. But yeah, this is the black pair. This is the first pair that came out. First pair that dropped. And this was the 747 pair, which is purple and black. Got the black boost cup. They're gonna change this shit all over. You're gonna have all kinds of crazy color boosts. We're getting into it. We're going wild with the colors. You know what's interesting about colors right now? That Nike hat they put out. Sorry to talk shit about Nike right now. But the Sean Witherspoon, sorry Sean. But that hat that's got all the different color panels on it. Nike put different hats out. And now all I can think about are those hats with the wheels on top. Or the little 
Little. I ain't talked about the X yet. You better back up off me, son. I'm getting ready. Oh, okay, get ready. And then we have the BYW X, which is the performance model. This is the only one that's dropped. But yeah, more of these coming. There's a Pharrell coming. This is the performance model. So this is for the club. This is for the alley -oop. I don't alley -oop in clubs. Also, though, you could show the Pharrells. We have here the first of many offerings from the BYW Pharrell line. We're going to get another two colorways of this shoe and the X version and many more. Pharrell's moving into basketball. Yes. Pharrell don't skate, he balls. Yes. You know what I'm saying? If you remember the Pharrell don't skate, I just made a, the camera cut off, but I was making a joke about Pharrell don't skate. Pharrell don't skate is an older shirt that was put out back oh. in the day, back in like the fucking Nort days and shit. I can't remember who put it out. It wasn't Nort. We're going to start with these because they have some meaning. Ooh, the other ones are meaningless, I see. God, these get so much hair on them. So this is the size Aniki that just came out. They put out another one this week that is the, the Manchester gray and yellow. I didn't get that one. I, this one I did get. It fits basically perfectly snug, so I don't want to get the other one and just have two shoes that I'm not going to wear a ton. I do like it, but this is my favorite Nike because they went PK on it. And this is just like full PK. It feels super comfortable. It's even bulked up from other pairs. It's got like a hard cage on the heel. So I like this one. Enough. Jumping right in. The shoe takes inspiration from the Atlanta, the shoe, which is stored in the archives of Adidas in Germany. 5923 is the serial number in the archives for the Atlanta. So it's the I dash. There's a shoe called the Atlanta yeah. back in the day. Yeah, but this is when they were calling them Aniki before they dropped the Hawaiian Storm. The rumor is they changed the name because Aniki was a storm that took out half of fucking Hawaii, so they didn't want to seem insensitive even though they dropped the Hawaiian Storm next in yeah. the UK. I don't really know. It seems like a little yeah. shady to me. This is the solar yellow pair, which is damn near impossible to find in big sizes. These were an exclusive too, right? These were like a New York exclusive, I'm pretty sure. Or a London exclusive. Does it say in the tag? No. Does it ever? Oh yeah, a London exclusive. No, right yeah. in there. I think these were London, honestly, and they just ended up in New York. And then the Bruce Lee Aniki, Bruce Laniki. <laughs> The St. Patty's, St. Patty's Day. These are the fucking Odell's, yeah. the Heineken's, if you will. And then we have the pride of the 70s. Boom, bam, boom. Looking like a motherfucking tennis star with these jump offs. Omar! Y3. What is his name? I want to say Kevin Hart. <laughs> name Y? He's amazing right now. Um, Pippin. The what? Y3 Pippins? No, the, uh, what's his name? Charles Barkley. Oh my god. Charles Barkley. Earn? Hardened. Thank you. James Harden. So this is the Y3 James Harden. These are only two that are released. I think there's another one coming, but I don't really know for sure. It's the Harden Boy I Mystery. I bet it's going to be a friends and family shoe if it does. These are super expensive. Y3 is expensive Adidas that sometimes goes on sale. It's pricey. And people always want to know if it's worth it. Depends on what you want and what you're looking for out of a shoe. But usually they have the more forward thinking designs and I mean it takes more risks than anybody. The Holy Pack. This is the Coral Pink <coughs> pair. This is, I don't remember what they called this one. Cotton candy pair. And then the black pair, black and purple. And hey. Hey, dude. Hey, beat it. Go, 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 go. And then the cream pair. All right, take them out of here. Pharrell Trails, this will be all the Pharrell Trails, right? Yeah. Uh, so this is the black and white pair with Cloud Moon pair, which is more like raining champ material. And then you have the green pair, Cloud Moon. Cloud Moon, they both say Cloud Moon. I didn't realize. Uh, walk and Breathe. And then you have the multi-color, which is Body and Earth. And then you have the BBC Friends and Family one, which I can't remember the translation off the top. Jose Cuerpo. No. Terra Quer it. Terra Cuerpo. We went through it. If you don't follow the vlogs, fuck you. <laughs> My favorite Ultra Boost collab still, the Woodwood Ultra Boost. Got the women's. Very futuristic. A mere three years ago, this was too much for a lot of people. Still too much for a lot of people. But I think this shoe is super dope. Uh, the entire shoe is based off of astrology, but not astrology. What the fuck is it called? That's why it's orange and blue. I can't remember the name of the word. It's not It's not astrology, but it does take place in space. Star Wars. Uh, but the black pair is my favorite because it used kind of the EQT ribbons. This shirt has the flip-flop orange and blue. It's just fucking a dope shoe. 
It's like one of the first ones that kind of flip-flopped like that for boosts. A true black 1.0 upper, which didn't come in a lot of the 1.0s. All right, well, we got the motherfucker takes two to tango. Yeah. Nemesis takes seven to tango. We got them all. Everyone's ever dropped. Tango God. You've heard of Tangy God. Tango God. Tango God. Uh, this is the OG Tango. The Beetlejuice, the black and whites, the zebras, if you will. The black one was the second one. I don't, actually don't have them all because I sold the regular black one, but. Because you had the Kith one. Yeah, then there's the solar orange. Nice. Uh, turquoise. Yeah. And then there's the more cream colorway. It also has a different name. I can't remember what it was. Then we have the Kith set, no pun intended. Mild upgrades from the regular pairs. They have like leather accents. And the name is stitched into it as well. It's printed into the stitching, which makes them the kith one. And they're different colors. You have the rays, flamingos, and you have the cobras. So also, I feel like he did more in the heel. And those heel cuts are different. Oh, yeah, they flip-flopped them, yeah. On the green pair. like that. Yeah. The name is motherfucking Dirty. All right, we got these. Oh, the forgotten Aniki's. Just do them real quick. The blue Aniki. Forgot them. The maybe. Charge your phone and tell your girl you ain't coming home tonight. I did, alright. You ain't coming home tonight. I gotta get the coming soon page up too. Damn son, you slipping. Dude, I just got the shit, they're slipping. All right, so ATR mids, these like flopped pretty hard. When we saw the samples or whatever, everybody freaked out, but I was in the height of Ultra Boost craze. But I still love this shoe. I cop all the colors that came out, sold a few of them. The price point's pretty high and they did end up going on sale. This pair I think was an LTD pair, marked LTD. And then this is the uh, 3M pair. There's other ones and there's a bunch of other more color samples I saw. It's like a really dope, like Timberland looking one, like brown. I like that one that goes from blue to gray. I don't love the speckle like coming up. It kind of looks like you dipped your foot into spray paint. You know what I'm saying? Like someone was like, Psst on the end. I'm yeah. into it. I'm not super into it. I think, and I like it okay, like, like in the Packers and shit. Yeah. Cause it just speckles a little, but I don't really like the girl. They did the same thing. They did a Rain and Champ one of these. They like low key dropped. Like, I don't know. I don't know. I think David Beckham has something to do with this actual shoe, but I don't know for sure. And it's got the uh, Jurassic Park. That's my favorite part of it. Yeah, that's my only favorite part of it. The back is way too Ultimate Warrior for me though. Very dinosaur. -y. Yeah. Two 2.0 Ultra Boosts have entered. Only one will remain. <laughs> this we have the mineral green. Highly slept on. Went to the discount bin. Got made fun of. But fast forward a little bit to where we are in fashion. Bright colors. Aquamarine. Motherfucking solar pinks. This right here. This right here is as deep as the ocean is blue. When you look into this, you look like looking into vacation. You know what I'm saying? This makes you want to save your extra dollars and go on a cruise. This here, we call the Martha's Vineyards because you've been stomping grapes all day, just enjoying the breeze, the sunshine, and the freedom that is involved living in Martha's Vineyard. Ultra Boost, Shop Grape, I believe. Maybe Shop Purple, I'm not really sure. Both super fire pairs. So Kith Columbia collabs, this is the first one. This came out last year when they opened the pop-up. These also went on sale, but these are super sick. I have two pairs of these because I love the shoe so much. Which made me buy the pink one that just came out this year, which is a different collab altogether. But it was still Columbia. Shout out to the homie for getting me these for retail because they sold out really quick. And then this also is the new collab, which was different, which is the Terex, which if we go hiking, I'll just have to wear this whole fit. Yeah. We'll go on a fashion shoot, a hiking fit. Yeah, we'll send it all to Ronnie. We'll send Ronnie his own lookbook. We'll just send Ronnie back his own, his own lookbook. <laughs> but these are super sick. I like these a lot. I don't, they're not going to say they're the most comfortable, but I really just like, I like that there's boost in it. I like the shoe. I like the colors. We got the Lux Ultra Boost, the canceled SNS, social status, collab dropped as general consortium it just appeared just came in uh this is the first sns collab first sns collab 1.0 highly sought after the only pair that has pattern on the toe box going two different directions and then you have the uh but this pair is super sick this is the actual shit that dropped i think this was something they worked on during that time it has that same sort of pattern in it but um these are dope for. This is just SNS. SNS social status. The only S ST that I have, 
I really like this shoe for going to the pool. It's my favorite pool shoe. Yeah, it's just super clean. I don't get a lot of STs, but I like this ST a lot. I think it's, my, it's the only ST I really like. Other than there was a Chinese New Year ST that dropped that was fucking fire. Like, I just slept on it. It went on sale, on sale too, but it was dope as fuck because it was a multicolored toe box. And then there's also a new parlay one that's pretty dope. This shoe's dope, like, for a little bit more wider of a foot. If Ultra Boost sock collar is not your thing, you're super sick. So, yeah, so 4.0. This is the multi I sold some because I just have a fucking shit ton of ultra boosts and I'm really starting to enjoy things like Y3s and Goshas and all these other the collabs. Some people will say collabs are hype, but I don't really agree. So still good pairs that drop. I think this mocha pair is super sick. I kinda wanna paint the boost black in this pair and put fucking like solar laces in it. I think it would make this shit look insane. So with this, my homie on Twitter is doing a lot of like, he's painting a lot of boost black and he's making shoes look, he made the Chinese New Year's look super sick. But yeah, the mocha pair I think is sick. This pair I think is sick. And then this undefeated white pair that we never actually reviewed has the most open, look at the bottom. But this has the most open toe pattern. It's most 1.0. Like this wearing these, actually when you look down feels more 1.0 look than say like these where you can't really see it. And the graphic across the front is kind of growing on me, even though I do like you can't read it. But segue, so effortlessly, yeah. we have Omar shooting on a bone. Omar, go. So to segue, we have the 1.0 undefeated, solid black upper, ATR taping collab just came out and then with the collab was also two runners these are not ultra boost comfortable these are just being really saved in case i decide to run one day uh, but this is the undefeated version of the audi zero adios and then here is the black pair you've got to get a pair of these to run in i know you bought a pair but there's a pk pair also what size is these? these are a 13. i don't know but see how they feel i'm holding them today I won't, if they're not I won't too stop you. yeah they are a little loose but yeah. god dude they are lightweight that's what i'm saying like there's nothing to them at all they're so thin down if you i don't know if you watched that vlog but this shoe was designed was like cut precisely by hand by a Japanese, I could run it. Japanese man with precision oh so then nmds these are all of the NMD STLTs that have been released, except for a triple white pair. This entire pile of shoes right here uh, cost me less than two pairs of regular NMDs, probably even really one. I think it was like around red pair, which I forgot to show when we showed these, but I did have them. Red pair with blue hits. Can you still see these in the camera? But since I have to grab them, it's perfect, because you know what these are called? The picked apples. You know oh, what I'm saying? Yeah. Picked apples. The blue. Bumblebee. I know it doesn't make sense, but it's Bumblebee with just a splash. A splash. A blue. Do you remember what these are called? Yeah, the other, dude. From the other day, you argued with me? When I said what they were? Gray. I said these are the motherfucking white chocolate Hershey's. Oh, yeah. And you said, I don't know about that. And I said, when's the last time you saw a white chocolate chip Hershey bar? And you went, oh, yeah. Yes. White chocolates is what we call these. Nice. Clear soul. Gotta have a clear soul. <laughs> I don't want to go from clear soul to triple black. It just seems wrong. The chewed up bubble gum on the sidewalks. Oh, I like that. See it? You yeah. see it? Yeah. It yeah. looks good. The ecto coolers. Super slimes. I don't know. You can't do that on televisions. Okay. You know what I'm talking about. I know what you're talking These about. These are fire. Green. All on sale right now. Right now. Act now. Here's yeah. my affiliate link. The boys and berries. Super fire boysenberry mm -hmm. peach and purple last yeah. time you got a peach and purple shoe just recently on sale the triple blacks they just went on sale i just saw them the other day for like 97 or 87 bucks b2 easies i have not all of them because i didn't get all of these pairs because there's like 10 stripes not really but like three or four but which is funny though when you look at the v2 it has those straight lines that are on the 4.0 ultra boost that people hate they're on the v2 People just don't really ever talk about it, but you can see those straight lines just like you can on a 4.0. It's never really talked about. So the cream one, the Oreo one, they were calling it. Uh, the Beluga, original Beluga, which I have another pair of these on the way, actually. I ordered another pair because I saw them in the wild in Chicago. And it made me want a dead stock pair for some reason. I have the bread pair, which is probably, God, probably another one of my favorite pairs. I should probably get another one of these. I forgot the name of these again. Frozen. No. The these. icy blue, the frosty. Blue tint. Blue blue tint. tint. Then we have the uh, famous beat up zebras from pushing your car up the yeah. hill. Yeah. 
Still have these. I still have a dead stock pair. Frozen yellow. I have a dead stock pair of these. <sighs> I'm wearing today. 2.0. The red stripe. Now it makes me want to get the green stripe and the bronze, but which is more solar orangish, I guess. The cream white. And then we're still getting more V2s. I know that. We're just getting into pastel season soon, dog. Yeah. So color collab, I don't have the first two color collabs. There's three. I don't have the one that has the polka dots on it because I absolutely don't like that shoe at all. The first two I don't have either because I've never seen my size. Color usually only comes in 12 and a half. I've, I've never seen them. I'd buy them if I did. This one is my favorite color shoe. One of my favorite Adidas shoes ever goes against uh, the Woodwood. The Woodwood and this are two of my favorites. This color collab, which is beautiful and ugly, but I love it. Gold Heel Cups make my life complete. And then this is the uncaged version. Pick up the uncaged again or whatever. Pick it up again? I'm gonna be fake. You want me to be fake? No, but I'm just saying it literally cut you off in the middle of- Caged Silver Heel Cup, also in love with Silver Heel Cups. This shoe is super dope. I like both. One of the best collabs from last year. My Adidas started last year. To many people's dismay, you've been able to customize some shoes. They've gone into a Nikes, which I'm not into. They did 4.0 Ultra Boost, which I'm not into because it's the same as the three. This was Zeno, which they haven't done on Boost yet. This one is the triple black Zeno. It has Zeno cage and Zeno heel cup. These were limited. You have to have a code for these, right? Yeah. The pair that I flipped. Um, the cage and the cup are also Zeno. The only two I got from that. Uh, nice Kicks NMD. I have another pair of these dead stock, but this is probably the most coveted NMD. Definitely the most interesting in it. Or one of the most interesting NMDs, especially for when they dropped. But so shout out to Nice Kicks for that. Just shout out to Nice Kicks for making it and Matt Halfield. I didn't. They didn't give me the shoe or anything. <laughs> the ever so famous, highly slept on, Trace Cargos. I love this shoe. I don't ever wear it, but I do love it. I like the colorway. This was one of the first colored blue shoes we got after the first Uncaged. Uh, this came out the exact same time as Raining Champ 1.0. SNS NMD collab, Datamosh. This was where we started to learn that resale was dying. These at first, resale was ridiculous, and then it dropped down. I don't know what it's at now, but we figured out at this point you could time resale correctly, you could get it. These were called the Gucci's, is what they were calling it. This is, I have a dead stock pair of these. A lot of people don't know, but if you turn this inside out, it looks just like a camo NMD. But they should drop this colorway. They should drop this flipped because I'd buy it in a heartbeat because it looks dope on the inside. And this is more of the ice blue colorway. Both are dope. Coming, there's two more coming. I think they're SNS collabs as well. All right, so Gosha collab. I got all three pairs. I originally only wanted this pair, accidentally got sent this pair, bought this pair, fell in love with both, and then got the third. So you have the school bus yellow pair, mid trail, hybrid soccer shoe there is boost in it and there's plenty of boost to feel it's not overload but they're dope and the white pair is super clean as well sweatpants from the collab are dope all the clothes that came from that collab are super safe too. oh shit you got some og shit in your hands you know what these are this is before you were fucking with the vlog son no yeah real ogs no if you want to sign up for the uh, guest co-host uh these were the first sample shoe ever sent to me from anyone in adidas it was the adidas golf they are a PK upper, cleat bottom, no boost. He also sent me my first boost ball. So these are super dope. I just I'm probably always will keep these, but these are sick. It's just like air walk, like a PK air walk. And this was ahead of all the that gradient shit that we we're talking about where it looks sprayed. This was like years before we saw it on a mid or anything. Oh yeah, this is old. He doesn't even work for Adidas anymore. He works right. for Tesla. More SNS. Back to school CS2. These went on sale last week for $98. Just crazy to me, but I don't really give a fuck. It's just crazy. I like these, both of these colorways. It's very collegiate. You know what I'm saying? I don't know which school this would be, but this one I got because it's ASU looking. But there's a lot of schools. They just all use the same school. Yeah. The same colors. This could be Cleveland Cavaliers. This could be Boston Celtics. Wait, didn't they just play? I don't know. Didn't they just play? They did just play. They did. I saw it on Twitter. They just played for the fucking championship. Nah, they played to go to the championship, maybe. They just played, dog. These could have been worn no, no. to the game together. Half and half. You'd have been like, I don't choose size, bro. I'm just here to enjoy the yeah. show. What are these? These, sir. These are the Gort NMD CS motherfucking one. Uh, these are dope. These are Gore-Tex. They are completely waterproof. There's a black colorway that I never got a chance to get. These fit so crazy. 
If I could go back, I probably would've gotten the black ones instead of the white ones. Uh, these are also dope. If you need to dip your foot in water and you want it to stay dry, these are the shoe for it. They yeah. probably should have put a trail boost on it though. I don't know why they didn't, because it would make total sense for snow. Yeah. You're already charging two bills and some change. You might as well fucking throw a trail on there, dog, and let me yeah. get going. Let me get on the happy road. Happy trails. The Ronin CS2, the highly not sought after CS2. There's one on sale as well. These are super sick. At one point, we thought they weren't going to release. My good friend JC, who I'm having a pop-up in a few days, uh, I don't remember what day it is, I think it's Saturday. Yeah, Saturday there's a pop-up, Happy Cry, AI, and you are your enemy drops. And uh, he bought a sample pair of these that are different. Leather back here is a little different, but he paid a premium price for that difference. These went on sale for like 60 bucks. But they're super sick. I think it's a really great. I like all of the sort of just Asian influence in a lot of the shoes that came out. They're karate gi. I love it. I feel like a ninja every time I put them on. Laceless Ultra Boost. These just came out. More UK releases. I didn't see a lot of US releases. Probably like eight colorways of the shoe. This is the 3M Triple Black. I bought three or four, but I am not keeping all of them, obviously. They're, th I wonder if I just didn't get the white. I guess there was another CS2. Mm -hmm. I just didn't get that one, I don't think. Maybe I did. But it matches this NMD, the white. I just flipped it. There's the black one. The white one. Both are sick. Both went on sale. And then there's the CS2, which is also super sick. I think this is like one of my favorite. This this material is so nice. This is like NMD Nice Kicks material. And people just slept. And it's, again, Japanese influence. So I fucks with it. Fucks with it hard, dog. So OG Human Races, the first pair. These shot up in price insane, but this is the original yellow pair. Got these, and then they dropped the color pack all at once, which was a fucking shit show. I went to Adidas, like $1,500 worth of gift cards, and then still took an L on every pair online except for the black pair, so the black pair got shipped. And this was before I was super plugged, so I paid resale, but I only paid like 400 bucks for each pair. 450, I think, for the green pair. Like immediately got them all. Except for the blue came later, because the blue first blue pair that got sent to me, I don't think was real, so I like canceled that shit. But anyway, um, black pair, which is my, my most beat pair of Pharrells, for sure. And then there's the green pair, which I have flip-flop laces for no reason. Probably just got tired of lacing one pair. Orange pair, the blue pair, and the stained a little bit red pair, because if you get your Pharrells wet, that shit's gonna run. I don't care who you are. All right, height of NMD hype. Uh, these dropped, these all sold out instantly. Resale shot up crazy. This pair still crazy, I'm pretty sure. The blue pair. <laughs> Bruh. Uh, blue pair, and then there's the white and black pair. Olive green. Omar! All right. The olive green pair. And then my favorite, the most beat, shrimp pair. Shrimps. Mine are like fucked up. My brick is like melted on this pair. Oh, Multicolor Ultra Boost uh, 1.0. This one's gonna re-release. This one was a DJ Khaled at one point said so this shit was limited to like 400 pairs. It was DJ Khaled. It was on Snapchat. I don't know, but um, he was with Wex when he said it. I have no idea, but 2.0 is right here. This is more Ultra Boost type. Hold on one second. He thinks this is a fucking game. He thinks he's on behind his fucking desk. There was a 3.0. We sold it. The 4.0. These are all my Adidas that I would consider multicolor 2.0s as well. The white pair. And they did the same thing with the 4.0, which I think is pretty whack. Black pair. The gray pair. The quote unquote Asian exclusive blue. So the city pack, the black one, I don't have. This is the Japan gray, which I've never worn. I got these off. I took an L on these when they came out, I remember. And then they restocked like fucking 200 times. This is what people will say killed the MD. But I've never worn these. They were gray. We sold these during the first sale. Something happened with the person's money and they got returned. Remember? That's so right. So they're still here. Yeah. I still haven't worn them. I'll probably just wear them soon. Probably just wear them soon. And then the vapor grays, which I just started wearing these. But you kind of had to put these on ice for a while because every fucking body was just rocking the shit out of them. They were everywhere. The silvers and shit. So yeah, this might be what's left. So in 3.0, we got a lot more colored Ultra Boost. This is the bronze. You'll say it looks like you stepped in dog shit, <laughs> but I don't know. It's some wild dog shit to me. This pair. I like the black and bronze. There's other pairs like the silver and the gray, but not a lot. We still don't get a lot of color boosts from all those. They dropped like six olive green 3.0s. This one made it. 
Probably only made it just because it has a leather cage. There's this one. Did I get rid of that? I bet you that military one's still here. I don't think I sold that one. Maybe I did. I may have just looked at this one and been like, I got the other one too. Fuck it. I can't remember. It might be in the box. More 3.0 hype. Sam and Breeze. Highly slept on. If this was a kid. If this was a kid's collab, people would have lost their shit. And then another one, the motherfucking hamburger. <laughs> is what people call them, but I call them burgundy. Some people say it looks like hamburger fat. I think they're just hungry, but both are super dope. Then, for all you motherfuckers living in the dark ages, we got shoes to remind you that you ain't winning shit out here in the form of argument. Ern's making a bunch of noise. While I'm talking about the shoe he has on feet, he's beat the shit. He beat his prides up. That's not a hate crime, because we around here, are all about you doing whatever the fuck you want to do with your life. And if anyone says anything, kick him in the fucking face with your motherfucking Pride Ultra Boost. I like that. Yeah. We got motherfucking Energy Red 3.0, another fan favorite. This dropped in the initial release, I think. These came out quick. Energy Apples. Energy Apple Ultra Boost. This actually came out before the Red Apple NMD. Oh. Because I remember being like, I'm not tripping on the Red Apple. People made fun of me because I was like, this is close enough. Uh, I said that these look so similar that I was like not tripping. And then the next day I made a tweet that said I'd pay a thousand dollars for this shoe. Let me go ahead and grab these up from the basement. <laughs> we got Solar Red 1.0. I do not have the orange. I need the orange still. I'm not paying crazy for it. So forget it if you have it. But if you want to talk reasonable, holler. Goes for any shoe I'm missing, like the J&D Ultra Boost. Uh, you know, random things that you don't see here. Then we have the Solar Yellow. I have a few pairs of these floating around. The 2.0 Solar, which is another fire pair, which also looks great with black boosts. Yeah. I'm taking a dab. <coughs> all right, so Kith Mids, well, <coughs> not all Kith Mids, but Mids. There's a prototype Mid that drops soon, 26, which is supposedly the last of these type of mids. I don't really know where that rumor came from, but I just keep hearing it, so I'm just gonna go with it, I guess. This is the run through time mid, which basically just went straight consortium. I think this was supposed to release for that French race that I was talking about when I reviewed these, and they just got behind on schedule. This was around the time that everything Adidas started to do got pushed fucking way back. Everything. The Packers was supposed to drop before. Everything dropped at the same time. Everything dropped with the Pharrells, because their ship, their global shipping got fucked up. First Kith mid collab, this is the first real mid we got, which was the Ass and this is the sample pair though, I'm pretty sure. No, this isn't the sample pair. So this is the not Kith Mid Aspen, this is a grail. I have a few pairs of these. I probably should let one pair go. And then the non-native pair, which I have a guy in my DM still trying to get me the friends and family pair in a 13. I just can't quite confirm that they're real. Yeah. And these are jacked. I need to I might have a dead stock pair of these laying around. Sure. I think you do. Yeah, sure. I'm almost 100% sure. Um, and then so new Yeezys. We have the 500, the AKA dad shoe as they call it. The shoe has boost, so it is for me. I don't love the upper, but I do like how baggy the shoe is. I literally can throw the shoe, slip the shoe on with no effort and walk to my mailbox. You know, it's an okay shoe for a little bit, but it's not an all day shoe. And the upper is just completely different than all the other stuff that we like here, I like here. And then this, wait, did I say this is the 500? I think I did. This is the 700. Yeah. This is the 500. So 500s I just reviewed. I wore these again the other day just after wearing boot only boots for like a week or two and slid these on to go to dinner. And again, they're kind of comfortable, but they're not boost, but I do have them. I don't know, I'm interested to see the V2 because he thinned down some shit on the V2 and he changed a lot of stuff. And a lot of people are upset about it, but. I'm still interested to see the changes. These NMDs right here, man. These changed it all. This is where a lot of people say NMDs died. This was photo mapped also. I think that's why these reinforced stitching areas. And then I think this was just to look futuristic. It was the introduction of the R2. Unlike Nike, Adidas is awful at storytelling and they don't tell shit correctly, but there's a box in there, grab that. They did this photo series thing. This is before I got, before I made Homeboy Man. But they sent this, this was an XR1. They sent it, they did the same thing. You it's never wore those? The futuristic vibe. Nope, never did. A special box. It's all cracked and chipped. But this, I think this is the first boost shoe that Adidas ever sent me. Because they sent me another shoe, an EQT that's in that white box. Yeah. Uh, these are actually whatever, you know? I mean, I don't I don't love them. I, for the, It's basically like for the Terex snow boot. The, the, the ones that Adidas puts out are pretty 
lame in my opinion. The way they look isn't like the most pizzazz. So this one at least has a little extra to it. They threw the seat belt on it. So for what you have to do, like for the conditions, it's yeah. a great shoe and it does have boost. But I did bust my ass immediately in the ice when I, I put them on. So yeah. I don't know. I, I like them, but I, I'm not gonna sit here and say that you're gonna like them. <laughs> so. So the bait collab. So I wore these the other day. I wore these to the movies and I thought they were gonna glow in the dark, but they didn't. I was like, fuck, I'm gonna be obnoxious as shit, but oh, shit. they do glow in the dark. These are super sick and they have like the skeletal framing on them. And then the black pair, this EQT has more of an ultra boost tongue. PK is a lot nicer on this. And then it has a 3M underlay of bone structure, the foot structure. These are both super sick. This is a great EQT. And then we have designed by Porsche. Another necessity for the cold and snow. This was my first boost shoe with winter capabilities and it's probably still my favorite one. This was an expensive ass shoe. It came from the homie in Austria. I think it's only released in Germany. And he sent them because his dad liked them so much. Well, he got them for, I paid for them, but he got them for me. But these are super sick. They're so warm and super dope. There's an old boost shoe. I can't remember what the model is, but winter boot with boost. And there's two colors, a black colorway and uh, uh, tan colorway. They're super dope, but they released like the first year of Ultra Boost. They're nowhere to be found at all. So United Arrows and Sons CS1, Japanese, I'm assuming Japanese, I can't remember. I think it's Japanese. I'm pretty sure it's Japanese. Uh, anyway, it has like the kanji. I always get this wrong. People always tell me it's like, I'm gonna say this wrong too, but katakana and whatever. It has all of this foreign writing on the shoe. <laughs> it's a black CS1 with the gum, gum sole and then the CS2 Two. And the CS2 dropped kind of in the same sort of motif, but not really. But they did throw these little ninja eyes on the inside, which kind of goes with the whole double ninja vibe. Ninja shoes. Speaking of ninja shoes, yeah. these were actually designed after ninjas. Well, not real ninjas, but this is that was the vibe of the collab. And this one on the left side says, Art of Seeing Through Darkness. These are dope as fuck. You have these, right? Yeah. I never knew it said Art of Seeing Through Darkness. Mm, kind of ironic. Um, the only uncaged 2.0 Ultra Boost, basically. I love this shoe. This collab was super dope to get. The ATR has the perforations. It's uncaged. It's 2.0-ish. It doesn't have a gradient. This shit's sick. I have two pairs of these for sure. Leather cage. Motherfuckers are dope. Motherfuckers is dope. Right here. Speaking of dope on a motherfucking road, we got some glow in the dark Ultra Boost 2.0 which only released in Asia. There's one reseller who's washed as fuck who will tell you that these released in fucking France or Italy or some shit. They did not. They released in Asia. They may have like made it somewhere else afterwards. There's another pair that released this that some people have. It's blue and red ATR. And it's also an LTD shoe that didn't release really anywhere else. But there's people like in Colombia and shit that have hit me up and been like, I found these. And they don't know what they are. They came out at the same time as this, but neither of these dropped in the United States ever, ever, ever. Uh, mine came from fucking Asia and somehow someone found me a 12 and a half. I thought I was getting like a nine and a half because I just wanted to get them to check them out. Yeah. A 12 and a half showed up because the homie just like went out of his way. It was fucking crazy. It was awesome. Right. Before you were watching the vlog. Yeah, these are super dope. Glow in the dark 2.0s. We went from glow in the dark to glow in the day. Yeah. So here we go. We got the Alexander Wang Alize. No, just the Alexander Wang hike lows. This is the yellow pair. <laughs> this is the orange pair. And then these are similar to the pairs that just dropped also a pair called the Wang Run redo or whatever. And it looks like he just mashed up all his shoes together. Um, supposedly they're on the way. I still don't have a fucking box. Still hasn't shut up the shoes. A prototype mid and all my wings. Jeez. Aggressive. The Packer Soul Box collab which represents people no longer bought shoes because too many shoes dropped. <laughs> yeah. These sat, went on sale, which is fucking crazy to me because I think this is one of the best, most thought out collabs that we've gotten from Boost. Like this is online with the Woodwood. I can't even, still can't remember what. Aerodynamics? I don't know, something. Um, but anyway, this is, this shoe, both shoes represent the continental divide. Yeah. They go from darkness to light in this bitch. You know what I'm saying? It's like, bloop, 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 bloop. it's super sick. I love this collab. The mid is super dope. I'm, Pretty sure I have another pair of these somewhere. It's the only one that has like the neoprene, um, or is it, is it neoprene? Whatever scuba is made out of. It's like scuba, scuba, 
Scubas. I know what you're talking scuba. about. Like a wetsuit. You scuba? Yeah. yeah. You want the scuba? Energy boost, which I think is also super sick. Again, they use that gradient pattern, but I think they used it in a good way. I don't think it is overdone. Packers is the one that shot the photos for these shoes. And you don't have a lot of energy. And the knit. These are the only two pairs I have. And these are the, my favorite pair. I wear these to the gym all the time. Yeah, look at that knit. And yeah, they're PK all day. So these are sick. Those run through time hats are on sale for like 10 bucks. Really? Mm hmm. At SNS. So Sneaker Boy Wish ATL, this is the jellyfish shoe. Also glows in the dark, just three stripes, kind of cut out like fishnet. This is super dope. Pure Boost, not my favorite. I don't love these pods on the side usually, but the way they kind of sport mesh this one out, I really like. Burrito Tongue is not my favorite either, but I do like this shoe. I haven't worn it a lot, but I like it. I fuck with it. It's got a lot of like leather and just tight. The knit is just crazy. Like burlap sack knit. The burrito tongue. The burrito tongue, tongue is super good. You understand the point in it. Does it tighten more? You can fold it over if you When you're not. constructing a shoe, you know what I mean? It's yeah. less pieces. You don't have to glue and stitch anything. If you just find a fabric you can fold over and then just stitch up the front of the shoe. It's just an innovation yeah. from the design thing. Yeah. It's just not my favorite design thing. But this represents the poisonous jellyfish and a great aquarium. The jellyfish living in Australia the aquarium being in Atlanta. If you've never been to the Atlanta Aquarium, hook yourself up and go. There is a black pair that released with this. I don't have it though. It's the okay. R2, white mountaineering. I wear these a lot. Someone the other day when I posted them was like, what is that your second time wearing on these things? They're fucking kind of fuck. Tees, the overkill EQT. Another great one's very, this reminds, those colors though are very royal. Omar scratching himself next to the door. But yeah, these are very royal. I can't remember the whole, what the whole like vibe was of it, but it does have like the bridge on the end. Yeah. I mean, Overkill, I know is a shop in Berlin. So that must be like the Berlin. Berlin. 1.0 Ultra Boost, uh, non-collabs that I think this is it, but we have the Navy Blue. We have the OG Ultra Boost, which I told you the other day in the deleted footage is based off of what? What are the colorways based off? Uh, moon, sun, night times, sunset. Are you just learning new words? Is that what that was? We have the wool gray. We have the wool gray Ultra Boost as well. Nice wool. Speaking of very nice, we have the cream Ultra Boost, which is Ernie's Grail, he says. Yep. Re-releasing very soon. Consortium stores only, from what I hear. Mystery gray. The triple white. We have the core black. I don't remember what blue this is. Collegiate blue is what this is called. We have another gray Ultra Boost, high snobiety, which, you know, leather cage is about the only real, just another gray Ultra Boost that's wool-like. The first of the colored boost. This came first. We got this one in a black boost shoe. I don't have it anymore, but the red also, this is super dope. People ask to buy this one all the time. I don't know if there's just none available or what. I think that's uh, EQT that really I think only came out in Europe. A lot of uh, United States stores didn't order it because when I hit up all my people, they're like, we just didn't order it. Something. Yeah, these are super dope. They're kind of flimsy. It's like a light shoe. You know, it's like yeah. more like an NMD, like a little bulked up, but I love this color. These, this frozen colorway is just dope. No one can say I'm a hype beast for frozen when it came out months before and I was all about it. <laughs> yeah. So I literally went to Europe to get them. Ah. Another great shoe. The ADO, day one. Day one, I can't remember, was this a, uh, uh, this is super dope. Yeah, it's the ZG, because it goes with the livestock that you have. It's just, this shoe. This is like, a, they just put a different sole on it, but it's got that same setup, uh, the ZG knit or whatever. These are both super dope. This is the livestock collab, and then this is the day one. So, both fire. Take it to the pirates. The only XR1 that resold, I had to pay like 500 bucks for these because before I was like plugged up. Mastermind XR1 has premium materials, leather, basically that's it. It's just the XR1 with leather materials, so I don't really think it's worth the hype, but Mastermind's always overpriced. The Y3 Psychos, they just went on sale, or the white pair went on sale. I don't know if I saw the black pair, but this is a really dope shoe, like double overlaid. Prime knits all over, it just picks up dog hair like fucking crazy. You know. Some would say, some would refer to me as the Michael Phelps of Boost. And this is why I have the gold, the silver, and the bronze. 
I didn't even need the bronze. I just took it because there was no one else capable of taking it. Silver I got before the motherfucking Olympics even started. A couple of weeks before. It was the first video I ever got more than. I woke up the next morning and had like 20,000 views. And I was like, what the fuck? Because I was getting like four or five, six thousand. But I got these early. So shout out to my man at the Gallery of Foot Locker who got these out to me early. And that was like my first taste of YouTube stardom. Nice. <laughs> the gold still the fucking shit. Still one of the best pairs. And the silver too, man. This silver shoe is so sick. And that multicolor was supposed to be the fireworks. No. No. That other, that multicolor 2.0, that one right there that we looked yeah. at, it came out at the same time. It was supposed to represent the fireworks. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, dog. And then we have the Naked Ultra Boost, another one of my favorite. 1.0s, but it's a collab. It's got the wool texture. It's got the crazy cut cage. Naked is a women's store. It's funny because these came out a few weeks after this My Adidas collab happened where you had to go to New York to build the shoe at the time. People have built them online. Recently, they even released uh, a link, started getting leaked around where people could finish building these with the materials they had left. But this dropped. I got the Lady Liberty pair built this way and then literally I flew home from New York. It cost me a shitload of money to go to the event. This shoe probably all in all cost me a couple of thousand dollars after traveling. And this dropped the next week. But <laughs> they're similar but they're so different. This 2.0, it's 3M reflective. It has a story. I had a great trip. A few more. Those city socks behind you, the white pair. I'll get to them. City Socks. This is the OG, but this was also called like the Tokyo when the NMD came out like this with the black and blue. It was called the Tokyo. I can't always remember which one came first, but I'm pretty sure this one dropped first because I remember going crazy about it and getting it. This one came from Europe. I paid a lot of money for it just to get it over here. And then this one came second. Pretty sure that's the way that happened. But yeah, black and blue pair. This shit shot up in price like fucking crazy, this pair. So these all just came out and they changed the name. This was the A16. They changed the shoe. This pure control is gone and they brought out this A16 Plus. So they're completely different shoes. And what's, I mean, they look the same, but the innards are completely different. This shoe can be flattened down to nothing. That shoe has a completely different inside. So these all came out at the same time. There's the white pair, the multicolor pair. Shout out to the Houston Adidas for hooking me up with those. And then there's the black pair which has, so yeah, sample pair I bought. Oh yeah. Yeah, right, it's a completely different shoe. Yeah. So the sample pair I got, I still haven't worn them, but this is a different shoe. The knit is different, the build of it is different, the support is different, it's got that inside piece, it's like a synthetic suede. It's just yeah. a completely different shoe altogether. It fits insane. They were never made in my size. There's a Volt colorway of the shoe that I would fucking kill. They never came out in my size. I'd kill for that Volt colorway. This is the white pair, and then the only time that a 13 was made, the Kith collab. Like, Ronnie made a 13, so. I think he's a 13, they might be 12 and a half. They're 13, yeah. And I had two pairs of these, but I sold one, because favorite Invincible, wasn't gonna get these because of the stitching, wasn't a huge fan of the quality on the stitching, but at the size that it is, it kinda is what it is. And it's super folky if you're into Japanese art, it's just, it's trying to be folky. Tiger stitching in the three stripes is unique too. But really what sold me is that they changed the knit, the upper on this starts off non-PK, but the toe box is all PK and it's super fucking comfortable actually. So, it's a dope shoe. So we have the AM4 London, the AM4 Paris, and the blue green colorway. And then we have the AM4 NYC, which these just restocked. I told you that the other day. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know, I know. But then I got the solars. I'm like, I can't go. Yeah. You gotta get these to run in, dog. No, I From New the to run in. They should have done a jersey when you'd have copped. Yeah. <laughs> what would the jersey one have? What would they have to change in the jersey one? I don't know. The smell. The jersey one has a view of New York City that pops yeah. up the front. You have to run towards it. Yeah, the toe just has a tiny little view of the Empire State yeah. Building that you look at. <laughs> this is the 747 exclusive that represents the fruit stands. Fruit yes. stand jump offs. AM4 life. A regular old GRCS2. I really like these. Black with the pink hits. People don't care about the shoe at all, but I think they're super fire. The Ultra Boost 1.0 Triple Black that never really officially released at Adidas.com ever. It just came out in random spots. But yeah, these are super sick. I have a few pairs of these laying around. I don't know how many, but there's a few. Winter Storm Uncaged. Uh, these are fucking under the radar, but I think these are super dope. These are the only 
triple black uncage that I held on to. While we're talking triple black, yeah. we've got the friends and family triple black NMD that could be won by texting. Adidas never texted me back. I should have known something was up right then and there. It's all good. They also didn't send me the package. I don't have the special box, but I did get a good price on these. I bought them. I think they're overhyped. They haven't released another one that looks just like it yet. So at least they've, at least they've kept their word there so far. We'll see. <laughs> White Mountaineering NMD Trail. These are super dope. This colorway is super dope. EK on this is super sick. Like everything about this shoe is awesome. It's got the mix the M with the three stripes. Yeah. Dope. W M. Yeah. Yeah, it's so sick. Upgraded my original uh, monochrome pack, my original white pair and black pair. I think that's probably why I got rid of that Japan NMD. Black. Because I had these. Yeah. yeah. And these I have not even really worn yet. A true black Japan NMD. And then another crispy true white NMD. It's a cream up in there. Yeah. Um, size NMD. The, what were these called? They were called invisibles because they're they're like the they're invisible like the hunter, hunter shit invisible, or whatever. Yeah. But these are super sick and they were not they were slept on. They went on sale and they yeah. restock they restocked and some of the pairs even went on sale. But in my size, people wanted crazy money for resale. And then they dropped that price right down. People have missed out on these bad boys that I thought were gonna restock on the tenth, but did not were stocked. They never came back. The tangerine summertime tangerine pair, ice and fire pairs. Game of Thrones. Hot, all with 3M And then the Aquas, yeah. 3M Bricks, these are super dope, super clean, super fresh. Ready for Easter, has Easter passed? Yes. Yeah, we had it, it was in April. Easter, <laughs> you're counting on your hands. But I don't know what, what happened with these. They just pulled them off the website. If I had to guess, they end up in the employee store just to keep it on the, some low shit. Maybe they destroyed them. Like, y'all don't wanna buy these in three days? Fuck y'all. Yeah. <laughs> Those wangs. Wang. Basketball sockers. Uh, I like the way the shoe looks. I don't love the way the shoe feels. I'm hoping the new wings that are coming feel better. Probably should sell these, but no one's gonna buy them, I don't think, because they're still on sale <laughs> for retail everywhere that carries them. But I think they look clean, but they do not feel great. NMD Glitch. This was a GR. This came out with another pair, like a green pair. But the pink brick, I didn't really love the green pair, but this pair I really like. It's literally the flip of the AI pack. And if they dropped this with SNS, people would go crazy. The stripes were taken off by my homeboy, but he sent me this pair. And he put different laces in them. I was gonna say, I do yeah. like those laces. Yeah. I have two pairs of these. Another Uncaged 1.0, the Soul Box. These are definitely super nice materials. And this has that like crazy sports mesh shit in the back, which is yeah. dope. This is a dope shoe. I wore these yesterday, last night. Let's see. So then we have Y3ZGs, Pure Boost. These went crazy. They went on sale first, but then last time I said Ronnie Feig, Jerry Lorenzo, I believe, who bought a bunch of pairs of these and then they just like took off. But yeah, this pair is the more high beast pair, blah, blah, blah. And then this is the black pair. Both are sick. Both are comfortable, but they get hyped up way hard. There, Some people are trying to say they're more comfortable than Ultra Boost, and they're not. The knit is just super relaxed. And then another shoe that I really like that I don't get to wear too often, but the Titolo. XR ones are few and far between for sticking around, but I like this one. I like the story behind it. I like the whole alpine slide looking shoe. Yeah, yeah. that's cool. It's a dope shoe. And it's got like the glacier bottom. So I fuck with this shoe. Wing and uh, You hate these, right? The wing and horn. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I saw these on sale on a European website the other day and I was going to order them for you. But yeah. <laughs> I'd that, probably get used to them. I mean, if I'm warm or something. But... The back end is the worst part. But I don't know. I just like the knit. The knit on it is just super crazy and almost silky. But the shoe's dope. The wings and horns in MD are too. Your favorite Ultra yeah. Boost 3.0. The Mystery Inks. They are blue and orange. Don't let anyone tell you it's purple. It's blue. Well, you, they can tell you whatever they want because people see colors differently. But they're blue and orange. And they never released in the United States. Like, I was for sure they were going to, but they never did. And there is the No Signal in MD. It's another super fire pair that dropped this year. I came and went, but. It, it definitely came out, but these are super sick. I doubled up on these for sure. The laces are insane. And then this is the first shoe Adidas ever sent me. They got roasted for it not having boost, but I do still have it. It was when the EQTs just come first out. came out. It was funny because I'd already bought the boost version and reviewed it before this showed up. This is like what they sent. Yeah. There should be a new person though running that department, I'm pretty sure. Nice, maybe, maybe they'll get back in. Maybe they'll reach out again. 
That's it, right? Just the easy, right? Yeah, that's it. Should be it. So, then last, there is the biggest question I get is why I don't have all of the V1s or the 750s. I don't like 750s. But I don't have the V1s because I don't like any of the V1 except the triple black is what I've been saying since the beginning. So I do have the triple black. These are actually a 13 and a half. Or the pirate black, sorry, triple black. Which is funny though because it does have very much of a pure boost tone. You know, like it folds over the yeah. same way a lot. It happens. Um, but uh, I, so I have this pair and I haven't wanted any of the other pairs, but the other day I ordered the tan pair. Nice. So those are actually on the way now. I'm nice. trying them out. It's so weird to hold a V1 though compared to a V2. Yeah. It's like super weird. There it is. I think that's the updated shoe collection. We may have missed some shoes. There's definitely a lot of double ups in the boxes that have not been broken out, but I can't think of anything off the top of my head we're missing. There might be some random GR stuff in the closet. We're done. I'm done. Ern's done. We're done. Ern's cooked. I'm cooked. Peace. Peace. Um, all right, so in normal Teddy fashion, I just finished the edit that just took me all fucking night, and I realized that we never reviewed or showed you the Packers, in the Packers NMD, which got left out, highly slept on myself. At big, well, before it released, I was talking mad shit about this shoe because I didn't know it was PK. This is probably one of the best PK uh, NMDs there is as far as PK patterns. And then the other shoe, which I left out maybe subconsciously, is the Complex Con exclusive. Pretty weak. It's just a white fucking city sock. Uh, they released not very many of them, and it's got a little bit of an off-whitish vibe, but nothing crazy special. Complex kind of dropped the ball on that one, but I did get it because it was offered to me, and it's a white with blue bricked city sock. I think that's actually it, though, other than some random shit. Uh, that's it. I'm out of here. I've been editing. Omar's still crazy. He is healing up, for those of you who were wondering. He's pretty much back to normal. He accidentally ate some chocolate. I'm so dark. He accidentally ate some chocolate last night. So I had to deal with that, which was really fun. Yeah, that's pretty much it. So I'm out of here. I'm eating some cheese. See y'all for the drop tomorrow.